react because you know responsibility is your ability to respond you get that right but if you have zero responsibility you take no responsibility you're probably going to respond in a shitty way which, gonna, which is going to give you a shitty result which then you'll complain about all right we're ending it on this dude we're getting introspective i'm pretty sure jimmy Dore is a bernie or buster no he's not he hates bernie now dude he fucking hates Bernie because he's because Bernie sold out to the Democratic Party in 2016. He's way off that boat, dude. Jimmy Dore jumped off the Bernie bus a while ago. I can see what you mean, though. He's definitely very like democratically socialist, right? He's like an actual progressive. And he gets mad at all the fake progressives in the Democratic Party, like AOC, you know. And like freaking uh, Nancy Pelosi and shit, you know. The people that act like they care they care about poor people, but then vote against them in the house. From Alan Watts, I learned that life is not All right guys, we're chilling. Not a journey with a destination. We're ending on this. We're conditioned to think that life should be heading towards something. AOC isn't a fake progressive, haha. -ha. Dude, AOC says a lot of things on Twitter that are progressive. You're right. AOC does not vote for progressive policies. So I don't know what you're, like, she gave a speech on the frickin' House floor, shit-talking the CARES Act, right? And how it was an upward transfer of wealth, right? She, she did that, but then she voted for it. Like, it makes zero sense. I mean, I, I get why, Bob, you believe AOC is an actual progressive, because the media paints her as one, but the way she's voting goes against the progressive agenda. Like graduation or retirement or heaven. But the true purpose of life is to live. Same way in dancing. When you dance, you are not trying to get anywhere or finish the dance. The Bro, Nancy Pelosi made everyone vote for the CARES Act. You understand that, right? I get it. It's better than nothing. But that's not how the American people should be provided a stimulus during a pandemic okay the point of dancing is the dance life is a dance alan watts also taught me how to find out what i want in life the question of what do i want is one of the simplest yet hardest questions to answer there are two reasons why you don't know what you want reason number one you already have it reason number two is you don't know yourself. The reason you don't know yourself is because you never can. To know yourself is like a flame trying to burn itself or a knife trying to cut itself. Once you understand this, you will cease to cling to yourself. You will reach a state of desirelessness. You won't try to control things and you will discover an endless access of power from within. On the same note, Jordan Peterson teaches that taking yeah. responsibility is the key to fulfillment. The more responsibility you accept, the more meaningful your life will be. If you go around pointing the finger and blaming others for problems, then you will always be a victim. The life of a victim is a sad, weak existence, always at the mercy of external forces. However, if you accept responsibility for everything, then you will find meaning in everything. Take responsibility and pursue purpose. Do not pursue short-term happiness. Pursue a life worth living. Tony. Ra so essentially, Bob, is what he's saying is like, the meaning in life is the meaning you give it. And the meaning you give it requires taking responsibility and not playing the victim. That's what he means. But people who are in a victim mindset don't, don't, don't get it. And they cringe. Robin says, life does not happen to you it happens for you. This quote means that the way we choose to see things will shape our reality. 5% of life is what happens, and 95% of life is how you choose to react. Maybe you fall and break your ankle. This event might seem I don't seem believe bad, in personal actions. Maybe... That's a, a weird statement. I overthrow the Ottoman Empire. To over... Europe has no natural resources. They had to colonize. Yeah, I mean, that's... A lot of countries, you know, Middle East until the stupidly teamed up with them. Dude, yeah, Middle Eastern deals are fucking 
Bro, the freaking Egyptians, they sold out Palestinians so long ago, dude. Like, Palestine has almost no allies in the Middle East. It's kind of scary how many people in the Middle East don't care about Palestine. It's scary. Norway has hella natural resources. And here's the thing, dude. Like, freaking, uh, yeah, like all these Middle East deals. Yeah, and same with Jordan. Yeah, it's like they'd rather be allies with Israel than Palestine, right? Because Israel has more resources due to, like, defunding from America and all that. The video is the same individual responsibility shit. <laughs> individual responsibility shit. What does that even mean, bruh? Dude, you literally just said... I can even scroll up. What did you say earlier? I don't believe in personal action. What does that even mean? You don't believe that people can perform actions? <laughs> so you're saying people don't do things. Okay. Maybe this event or write a book on physical therapy for ankle injuries and you become... So you're saying how you react? Because you know, responsibility is your ability to respond. You get that, right? But if you have zero responsibility and you take no responsibility, you're probably going to respond in a shitty way, which, gonna, which is going to give you a shitty result, which then you'll complain about, right? But if you had the ability to respond in a more productive way, responsibility, you'd be like, you'd be a little more aware of why you're in this situation as opposed to not knowing why something's happening to you. We can't choose what we do. Yes, you can. You're choosing to be in this chat right now. Talk to me, which I like. Thank you. You're choosing to watch Twitch. You can literally choose to go watch Pornhub. It's literally your freedom, dude. Like we're choosing, we're choosing to do things, whether or not we realize it or like whether we realize it or not. Because a lot of people are on autopilot. When you're on autopilot, you're choosing to do things subconsciously. But when you start to actually live in like a more conscious way, you make more like directed decisions. What is that? Racially, so are Americans. Racially. Become a millionaire. There are many events in life we cannot control, but we can control how we choose to see these events. David Foster Wallace says, everybody worships. The only choice we get in life is what to worship. Yeah, dude, I worship science, bro. Science. At the mosque, what do you mean? Oh, dude, that Norway shooting? Listen, bro, there are fucked up people in this world, dude. There have been a lot of mass shootings, dude. It's fucked up. We can't free will our only existence if you believe in a higher power. No, dude, when people say they believe in a higher power, it's not separate from themselves. That's like the misconception. Like, God isn't, is it sep isn't separate from people, and he's not making decisions on our behalf. It's not how, that's not how it's, like, perceived when people say they found God. That's not what they mean. Like... If yeah. you worship money and things, if they are where you tap real meaning in life, then you will never have enough, never feel you have enough. It's the truth. Worship your body and beauty and sexual allure, and you will always feel ugly. And when time and age start showing, you will die a million deaths before they finally grieve you. Worship power, you will end up feeling weak and afraid, and you will need ever more power over others to numb your own fear. Worship your intellect, being seen as smart, you will end up feeling stupid, a fraud, always on the verge of being found out. But the insidious thing about these forms of worship- See, this right here, in America, this is protected by the mainstream media. So like, people on this side of the spectrum, they don't feel that stupid because they have the mainstream media to back what they believe in, which is cool. Everyone has a right to that. I'm, I'm not saying that. They just need to be aware, that's all. Ship is not that they're evil or sinful, Hard to be proud is of that they're yeah. unconscious. On, From Eckhart Tolle, I learned how to tap into a higher <laughs> consciousness <laughs> by being present. In life, discomfort is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. Suffering comes from our fearful thoughts of the future or painful memories of the past. Suffering does not live in the present moment. So if you are present, truly present, then you'll be free from all suffering. The secret to being present is to detach your true self from your thinking mind, which stems from the ego. Eckhart Tolle says, the beginning of freedom is the realization mm -hmm. that you are not the thinker, 
The moment you start watching the thinker, a higher level of consciousness becomes activated. You then begin to realize there is a vast realm of intelligence beyond thought. That thought is only a tiny aspect of that intelligence. You also realize that all the things that truly matter, beauty, love, creativity, joy, inner peace, arise from beyond the mind. You begin to awaken. Will Smith taught me that failure is not the end. Will Smith. Failure is a stepping stone <laughs> to success. Will Smith. The more you fail, the more you learn and grow. Failure helps you recognize the areas where you need to evolve. Simon Sinek taught me that the most important question is why. Before pursuing any major venture in life. That, that video is completely disconnected from reality. Yeah, Bob. Maybe your reality. Everyone has their personal perception and, and interpretation of their own reality. So Bob, if you think everything that happens in your life, that's some positive psychology shit, as if that's shit. Like you don't even study psychology. Come on, man. Dude, you know, the human brain, like there's like, that's a frontier. You understand that, right? That's actually a frontier in science is the human brain. So I did. You literally just said some positive psychology shit. And I said, do you, do you even like understand psychology? You said I do. Clearly not. It's positive psychology shit. Clearly you don't. Because here's the thing, dude. If you believe you're a victim to your environment, you're going to keep manifesting a life that makes you a victim or at least makes you perceive that you're a victim to your environment. And it's going to be a cycle. Then you're going to be like, see, told you so. See, told you so. See, I told you so. I'm right. See, see. What I do means nothing. That what I what I think has nothing to do with how my life turns out. See? Because you literally believe that. But it's like if you just shut out everything and like focus on what you want and and if you focus on what you want, right? And then every day you do things to cl to get closer to that personal goal that's subjective, you will get closer to it inevitably. Right? And then I, that gets into like discipline and all that. But that's like another realm of like self-control and self-awareness that some people aren't ready for, which is fine. Just know that at some point in your life, you will realize this. Tell me how that works. How do you make a choice? How do you make a choice? You decide to do something. You have an intention. You have like a clear intention that you set. Whether it be in the beginning of the day or during a moment, you start, you set an intention. Like if you're trying to get to know somebody you're gonna ask them questions about themselves that could have them share information that helps you learn about them that's a decision right and it's their decision to even respond right why do you decide to do that bob i don't think you understand our bodies are like vehicles through this reality like who we are and what we are is separate but you probably don't believe that which is not my problem dude <laughs> like a business or a marriage just know when you when you when you internalize this belief life becomes a lot easier it becomes harder in some ways but also easier in the long run because you're in more you're more in control and the problem with you not believing it what do you mean higher power shit it's the higher part of who you are bro it's like the higher part of who you are you must answer the question of why am i doing this and if you don't believe there's a higher part of who you are and you completely reject the idea which it sounds like you do, you're not going to tap into it. It's by design. Like we have free will as humans to either be aware of this or to be. Yeah, dude, I believe our, our, our brains act more like antennas instead of like the source of consciousness, you know, like our brains are taking in so much information from the external world to then form our consciousness. Our consciousness isn't formed directly in our brain. That's what I'm trying to, it's like our perception of the outside world is what our consciousness is, right? But our minds perceiving consciousness requires the outside world. All right. It's kind of, it's, it's something that if you experience, you get what I mean. It's not something I can just verbally explain and you'll get, you know, understand the why before any other question. From Joe Rogan, oh, I no. learned how to stay motivated. It's all about the meathead. <laughs> the meathead. Momentum. 
If you start something today, where will it be in a year? Two years? Ten years? Yeah, Bob, you can't disagree that if you like focus on something, you make a decision to do something that makes you closer and closer to get there. How does that not make you, how does that not shape your reality in a way? How? I think over time, if you step back, those little decisions you made to get closer to what you want, in the long run, you can look back and see how it shaped your, you can't choose what to do. I don't get what you mean, Bob. Like, do you not have free will? You don't believe in free will, Bob? Or you don't believe in God, so you don't believe that. I think you don't believe in God, right? But you also think God gave people free will, which then means you don't believe in free will. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that free will is in every animal, right? Unless you're like an insect, right? Insects just kind of do whatever they fucking, insects are just like, insects are like all instincts. There's no higher level thinking. But when it comes to like smart animals, like dogs, right? Do you think dogs have free will? Dogs don't believe in God, but they do things. They eat. They chase rabbits, right? Dogs will like uh, cuddle next to you, right? Dogs will like lick your face. I think they make that decision because <laughs> they actually like, they actually love their owner. So they like do things to express that, you know, because dogs are like, they interface with people, you know, dogs like, they're like low key psychic. Like, why do you think dogs look people in the eyes? Let's get real here, dude. <laughs> like dogs look you in the eye, bro. We all act based on our biology and the environment. We can all sense our biology and we can sense the environment. But I'd say that we have the ability to like not react. Like if you see a hot chick, you're not just going to fuck her, right? <laughs> you're not just going to like start fucking her, right? You might make the decision to talk to her and like get to know her, maybe flirt with her, right? That's a decision. And then whatever happens, happens. But it's like you can't just react to your nature. As, like that's like uh that's like people who get really angry right people who just like rage a lot of people who rage and i've, and I've definitely gotten a little angry on the stream i'm not gonna lie you just kind of lose lose control of your emotions if you have a small amygdala you might amygdala isn't that a part of your brain or something amygdala like amygdala hippocampus and all that shit i mean hey you know we actually found out our brain's not as segmented as we thought so that's like a new discovery because the brain is like a frontier and like that whole idea that we only use, we only use like 30 percent of our brain is a complete misconception which stops you from acting on your instincts yeah we have higher level thinking so you don't think the decision not to act on your instincts do you think that's a decision that people make willingly or unwillingly <laughs> like i you know what i mean like i don't know where you're drawing the line Here's if you focus energy on something, you will gain momentum towards that goal. If you haven't worked out in three years, just doing... T I don't think your amygdala... Bro, you don't know my amygdala. Get out of here, bro. You don't even know my amygdala. <laughs> Dude, why are you insulting me? I'm trying to get you to question your own beliefs, and you're starting to insult me. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. Like, I'm scared now. I'm low-key terrified. Did I... Did, did I chin you? I'm sorry if I made you feel... Sad. <laughs> My amygdala. If you have a small amygdala, you literally can't. What does that even mean, bro? That, that, I don't think that's real science. A small amygdala? Dude, your brain, the way your brain interacts with the outside world is not like compartmentalized like we used to believe. I remember back in fucking middle school, my psychology class, we had to memorize the hippocampus, the amygdala, and all the parts of the brain, like the you know, pineal gland and all that kind of shit. There's like sections of the brain that do operate in specific ways, but it's not as sectioned as we thought it was, you know? <laughs> I'm not insulting you. I just said, choose it. I choose not to do something. Saying you don't choose probably have a developed amygdala. Uh, dude, I don't know what you mean by the whole amygdala thing. <laughs> like it's all about focusing energy. That's all I'm talking about. I'm talking about the general focus of energy. Because your mind is like a fucking orchestra. It's not just certain parts you're controlling. You're literally controlling your entire perception of your reality. Which involves a lot of parts of your brain. And senses. Which also connect to your brain. 
can't choose not to rape that woman. Dude, I, I'm sure there's some people out there that are super flawed, like criminals, right? Murderers, psychopaths, right? You can call that a psychopath. He has zero self-awareness, zero ability to be empathetic, right? He's a sociopath. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> this guy's defending rapists now. No, Bob, I get what you're doing. You're being like devil's advocate. I get it. But just know that if you're a sane person and you're aware of your feelings and emotions, you have the ability to take responsibility, right? And give yourself the ability to respond in a productive way. That's what I'm saying. But him being a psychopath isn't his fault. Yeah, it's, it's a flaw. It's like a flaw that's he's born with, I guess, or was raised up, given, right? 10 push-ups will start to roll the momentum in a better direction. The next day you do 20 push-ups, then 30, and soon that momentum is an unstoppable yeah. force. See, dude, Bob, I don't agree with that. I think if your brain is normal, you can choose whatever you want to choose. Hurling in a positive direction. From Graham Hanson. Like if you view yourself as a bum, like if you legitimately think you're a bum and you can't fucking have a nice body like this guy, right? And you start down here, with that belief, you're never going to get to even here, right? But if you start to change how you think about yourself and view yourself and you're here, right? Dude, you know how many ugly people I've met who are super fucking confident and get chicks a lot, okay? It's all about being funny, confident, correct, charismatic. It's not that hard, right? You're down here. You have that positive belief and outlook about your life. You can easily get to here and be fucking huge or whatever, whatever it is you want to be. Right? Because there's nothing really holding you back. There's no doubts coming up in your own mind that are telling you, you don't need to go work out. You don't need to work on improving yourself. You're fine the way you are. You're cool where you're at. Right? That's someone who has the belief that they're always going to be this guy down here. Right? But like, yeah. I mean, if you don't think you can get to that end goal when you start going to the gym, you're probably never going to get to that end goal. You know? Cock and Randall Carlson, I learned the importance of understanding the mysteries of our past. We are a but Bob, I would argue that your brain is in a way part of your environment because we have a, we have the ability to be aware of our brains. You know, species with amnesia. We have forgotten our origin. If we find out where just we like you don't choose to be normal, bro. Human beings are not normal. Okay, if you're a normal human, you're missing out. That's all I'm saying. If you think human beings are just normal and you're just like going about your life, not believing in anything, you're, you're, you're going to live a life that's not super fulfilling, you know, and you're not going to attract things in your life that will be fulfilling. Came from, we will understand why we are here. Wait, if you think life is meaningless and you legitimately believe life is meaningless, meaningless things will happen in your life. That's literally how it works. If you think life is meaningless, you will then experience a meaningless life. Where we are going. Elon Musk says we must build a future that inspires we us. We can literally track down personality types. Oh, like what? ENTJ and I INFP? What is it? The Myers-Briggs? Is that what you're talking about? Because the Myers-Briggs test, I, I used to love that shit. And I still do. It's, it's fun to just like look it up. But like that whole test has been disproven. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. But there are a lot of psycho psychological tests that have been disproven because like consciousness in the brain, like I said, it's like a frontier. We don't know shit about neuroscience. We really don't know shit about consciousness either. Like we're still theorizing. We're not even like, there's not even a solid theory yet. There's still a bunch of theories like here and there about what consciousness even is, you know, but there were, there are scientists that in the, in, back in the day, they came out with tests similar to the Myers Briggs test that section out people's brain types. But over the years, people have kind of disproven that. No, if I see that you're likely to like roller coaster, we know why. It's not you choosing to like it. It's you having high levels of dopamine. Yeah, but you choosing to go on that roller coaster and having that ride is what gives you dopamine. And do you get what I'm saying? Like you being, you making the decision to stand in line for fucking an hour, right? How are we going to agree with that? Dude. Bob, I don't know why you brought up rapists, but like, I get it. Like some people are fucked up in society and they can't control their impulses. I get that. I'm talking about normal people. Okay. If you decide to go on a freaking, if you see a roller coaster, that's super fucking scary. 
your man, your adrenaline starts to kind of like you're like whoa like i want to go on that ride but then you're low-key scared too so then like your buddy has to, like you know he just like encourage you to get in that line and you're standing in line for like an hour you're making that decision to stand in line right because you said i can't choose what i do if there's a hot chick you know I'd... yeah no dude every guy that sees a hot girl it's not like you automatically want to fuck her it's just like if we were just fucking animals and like fucking cavemen right sure maybe some guy would just fuck but it's like that's not how humans work <laughs> like we have free will that's what i'm trying to that's what i'm trying to get you to understand is that the reason that's not normal is because we have the ability to react to our environment dude i don't know what you're talking about the amygdala i don't know what, dude look up neuroscience and like look up what we know now about the brain just 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 look that up that's all do research on that dude it's probably more uh rewarding we should pursue i don't think it's a flaw in your biology it's a flaw in your judgment a path that makes it's like it's like saying if you're drunk right i'm sure you've drank before right if you're drunk and your whole ability to make good judgment is like erased and you don't and you do something stupid i can see what you mean because your little your ability to, to make a smart decision is now erased so you could fucking rape somebody right who knows if you're fucking wasted. So you choose to have a small amygdala. Dude, you know the size of your brain has literally nothing to do with your intelligence. I hope you know that. Like the size of your brain has no correlation with intelligence. It says excited to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Joseph Campbell taught me that the best ideas are often misunderstood because they transcend words. They transcend words. In the movie words. Gladiator, Marcus Aurelius so true, wistfully reminisces. There was a dream that was Rome. You could only whisper it. Whatever, man. Anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish. What? The more ridges, the, the smoother the brain, the less intelligent the individual. Clearly, right? The more ridges, the more intelligent. Right? <laughs> Yo, you gotta have a fucking brain that's sandpaper. You know, like Einstein, his brain's like sandpaper, dude. Infinite ridges, infinite. <laughs> Anish, meaning that a sacred idea is. F Doesn't someone have? Doesn't someone have Einstein's brain in like a jar? Or am I like, did I, is that like a joke? Doesn't someone have like Einstein's brain saved in like a jar? Bob, I feel like you've heard like some neuroscientists back in the day talk about the brain and you're like repeating what they said, but like I recommend looking up like what we know currently about the brain because it's changing almost every year probably multiple times a year actually because there are multiple people studying this this is like a frontier in science that like people are actually they actually want to know what consciousness is amygdala sizes to ied i literally study it an ied isn't that like that thing that like it's like that thing it's a little all the like dots on your head and like stimulate certain areas I get like what brain stimulation is, but like consciousness is like a whole other thing when it comes to like the harmony of all of those brain synapses working together to then form a perception. That's like a little more complex when it comes to like overall consciousness. Fragile in its infancy, it often gets met with resistance. When you come across an idea that truly inspires you and ignites your passion, do not let this resistance derail you. If you have a dream, go for it. Chase that intuition and don't worry about explaining it to those who won't explosive understand. Disorder. I don't know what that is. Never heard of From it. From Aristotle, I learned how to learn. Aristotle said, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without ha. accept. Yo, Bob, look at Aristotle, dude. I see a... Is he discredited? Look at what Aristotle said. Meaning you have outbursts and act on your desires. Outbursts. You have moments of intuition and you have moments of like feeling like you should really do something, right? Some people call it having God speak to you, but others just view it as like a really strong urge or an outburst, right? God speaking to you, outburst, right? Just like how Kanye had an outburst to one for president, right? <laughs> Kanye just had an outburst to run for president. 
you know, God told them to, right? Intuition, intuitive feeling to help the masses. An intuitive feeling to get more involved, right? Bro, what are you talking about with this whole amygdala? I'm guessing so you won't rape someone because they look good today. Bob, you're not separating like biology from like your mind. Like there's, there's like, that, like, like I said, what you are and who you are are separate. So who you are is controlling what you are. Whether or not you perceive that to be happening, happening, okay? <laughs> but dude, it's the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. I think, Bob, you should work on that. You should work on entertaining thoughts that you don't believe in. Right? Freudian right now. You mean I sound like Freud right now? What? How do I sound Freudian? Do I not do that? I know exactly why people believe what they believe on the other side. I know exactly because I've, I've taken the time to entertain those thoughts. I can 100% tell you where they derive those beliefs and why. I take pride in that actually. Like it actually lessens my anxiety. Like when I thought everyone was racist back in 2016 when Trump won, when I thought the America was racist, right? Because, you know, I bought into propaganda. I thought everyone was racist until I actually spoke to Trump supporters. And I'm like, oh, now I get it. And it actually made me feel better. Because you know more about the other side and you entertain their thoughts without actually accepting them. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a fucking MAGA person now, but I've entertained their thoughts without accepting them. So I now understand them. Meaning I can take a separate position without judging them. If everyone did that, we'd be good. We'd be Gucci, bro. Dude, let's drop the rape, okay? Enough with rape, please. Stop. <laughs> Enough with it, okay? I probably know the right-wing arguments better than them. What does that mean? Accepting it. Bro, if you understand both sides and why both sides believe what they believe, you'll be fine. Like, there's no reason to, like own libs or fucking own conservatives like that doesn't do shit <laughs> i was a right winger less than a year ago the fuck dude you're for mandatory vaccinations bro <laughs> like you're pro you're like anti-human bro <laughs> you're literally anti-human believing something blindly is just as that's my personal opinion dude that's not general consensus i just believe people who are for mandatory vaccinations are anti-human they're anti-nature which then by proxy Make them anti-human. ...as dismissing it entirely. Not to mention anti-science. Both are lazy styles of thinking. Each question you have is like a rabbit hole that leads to new understanding and perspectives. Education does not stop when school gets out. Learning is a lifelong process. So stay curious and never stop questioning things. Never stop questioning this things. This is the goal of right. after school. Vaccines are not pro-science, broski. Look up, actually, I'm not even going to tell you, dude, just watch that, watch the debate I sent you, right? And then, right, entertain those thoughts and ideas without accepting them. That's all I'm trying to tell you to do, bro. Entertain those thoughts and ideas without accepting them. I hope your mind is able to do that because we're all capable of doing that. It all comes, it all comes down to like the willingness to do it. I'm not saying you're incapable of understanding. I'm saying you're choosing not to understand. That's a completely different thing. That's your free will. Your free will is to not sit through that, however long it is, hour and a half interview or two hour interview. It's your free will to not absorb that information and to just dismiss it. That's free will. Free will is fake news. I think the fake news causes people to use their free will to reject new information. That's what I think, bro. Actually, I know that for sure because I've, I've observed it in many people. To get you to question things. The ideas on this channel may seem scattered, but there is a common thread that runs through them all. The mission of After School is to enhance profound ideas with art. Thank you for all the support. I wish you way more than luck. All right, dudes. Question everything, okay? Aristotle said it, broski. It's the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. You should be able to entertain other people's thoughts without accepting them as your own. If I don't look at other sides, why am I here all the time? 
bro if you think i'm the fucking arbiter of truth <laughs> like bro I, I i i derive my information from multiple sources that if i pulled up on this stream nobody would watch at least i don't think because who would want to sit through a fucking three-hour interview with a doctor nobody i don't mind it i fucking drive around listening to, do to doctors on the internet and shit well not on the internet but like on podcasts and shit long form interviews nuance right because long form interviews and nuance is the answer but some people literally and i'm not saying you specifically but a lot of people in this world literally don't have the ability to watch a fucking 15 minute clip unbiasedly without dismissing it so that's not my issue i can't fix that all i can do is focus on myself and fix that problem within myself because i used to have that problem i used to only watch things that I wanted to watch, but like I've kind of separated, especially now during COVID, I've kind of separated because I know how important it is to get this information. So like I'm willing to sit through a two hour, three hour interview with a single doctor or even multiple doctors to hear out all of their perspectives. And I'm not going to accept their ideas. I'm going to entertain them, but I'm not going to accept them until I get enough data on each idea to choose which is best for my personal body and the betterment of the world. To only watch right wing propaganda. What? <laughs> but then I changed the start. Bob, I'm not. I'm not the opposition. Being in my stream, okay, <laughs> is gonna like I can direct you to where to go to yourself. But like, if you're gonna deny everyone I recommend to you, that doesn't mean you're being open. I appreciate you talking to me and like, you're providing a good perspective that does not exist in my mind. You know that. Every position you have, Bob, blows my mind. No lie. <laughs> and that's why I like you in this chat. Like, if you're here to learn shit from me, you're not doing it correct. You're not doing it correctly. Okay. <laughs> if you think the other side is my stream, you're not in the right place. Every position I have is based. All right. Whatever, dude. I to think the same thing. Back when I was a Bernie bro, I thought I was a smart. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I wish everyone the best. Much love. Thank you guys for coming through the stream. And uh, check out the YouTube. New video out, right? Let's have a new uh, profile pic. It's pretty dope. But yeah, dude, check it out. Also, check out Truthfully Incorrect podcast channel. The ban ends on January 26th. That's when the ban ends, okay? <laughs>